What's happening? Here we are. Just been driving south of Sydney because this weekend, me and a few mates have been down the south coast for a celebratory surf trip. Whenever I get out of Sydney, even if it is only slightly, always try and make the most of it before I go back. So that's what I'm doing today. Before I drive home, I want to get out for a dive. Before I get onto the dive though, I must say we had a pretty epic day of waves yesterday. We just had this big storm swell and it was just like it, it started to clean out. I mean, when I say we got good waves, I mean, we're all kooks, but the waves themselves were good. It's just a beautiful day and I want to show you that now real quick. So I'm pretty happy with that for, for a day, but again, I'm, I'm away. I'm gonna make the most of it. Before I go home, let's get out for a dive. One of the best things about diving is actually how social it can be. Meet a bunch of different people up and down the coast. So today I'm diving with a, a friend, Jack, who I've dove with many a time. Jack's a good shout and a good diver, like me. He's got a Haynes Hunter, so I should feel at home today. Though it is slightly bigger, so I'll enjoy that. Yeah, really looking forward to get out there. Hopefully after that storm swell the, the viz is cleaned up, but we'll just have to see. See out there. Should do that YouTube uh, thing. Alrighty, here we are. We're out here. It's not looking too bad. That storm swell's definitely roughed up the water a little bit. It's still pretty dirty. Um, there is a little bit of wind around, but no complaints really. We're out here on the water, so loving it. It is winter, so first up we're gonna collect some lobsters. Jack manages these grey holes well, so these cracks are stacked. I couldn't get my camera in there, but there are up to 20 crays at a time in there. Even though there are so many in these cracks, what we do is we take one, maybe two, just enough so we don't disturb the nest. So we move on to the next crack just to pick one out. Jack taught me some acrobatics here. Four crays, two each, done. One good thing about the water after a storm swell is no one's been diving it for a while, it can be kind of fishy, and I think that's what we had today. As I mentioned, the water clarity wasn't too great, but it was enough to hunt for some fish. Now we jump in a spot where, when the kings are on, they're on. Jack's already hooked up here, and I go down to take my pick at one of these beautiful New South Wales fish.
Good day out, the water has like calmed off now massively, it's been a good day, it's coming into winter here at the moment, so it was good to get out for a recon dive and suss out if the kings were still around. Obviously managed to find a big school of winter kings which is mad, thanks to Jack, kingies, craze, pretty happy for a winter dive. Now I can finally head home and then yeah, cook them up, should be good. Finally back home from that uh, quick stop off on the way home. Successful dive that was, um, especially for a, a winter dive. Anyway, I'm gonna get into processing this fish now. As I said, we can't eat it all in one sitting, so we gotta store it as best as we can. So what I do is I like to vacuum seal them and then freeze them and then I can keep them for six months to, to a year. But I mean, a lot of my friends and family enjoy it, so we could, we could eat it in a matter of weeks, but it's definitely gonna last us a long time, a fish like this. Being a full-time uni student and eating fresh lobsters and fresh fish, I like to call that balling on a budget. Cheers guys, hope you enjoyed that one. There's plenty more to come like that. Well, better I hope, but they're coming. Just a quick PSA, again, just finding out how to use this uh, YouTube thing. And um, I was like looking at the stats and stuff like that and I saw that 80% of people who watch my videos actually don't subscribe. It's like, holy cuttlefish, that is a lot of people. So if you do like my videos, then um, you know, log in, do subscribe. Apparently it helps, uh, but by the same token, not really important, just an observation. Uh, I'm still going to be getting out there and making videos regardless, because I love it, so I'll see you then.